Welcome back from the break, Rams. I'm Zaya Hailey, and we have had such a warm start to our march. We had like blue skies today. We got up to 60 degrees and very clear skies, which we are continuing on tonight. We can see we have 26 degrees is our temperature right now with very minimal wind at five miles per hour. And our moon is at a waning gibbous. So it's coming down from that beautiful full moon that we had on Saturday. And with these clear skies, we can actually check out our cloud cover map from our friends at NOAA. So you can see there's pretty much nothing going on on this. We have some like super clear skies there. But if we zoom out to the entire US, you can see we have um, some uh, storm clouds coming up over here. These are the only ones you really have to be worried about because they will be affecting us on Thursday. So until then, we'll have dry conditions through the middle here. But then those that moisture will hit us on Thursday. Now we can check out our overnight lows. So you can see on the western side, maybe if you're a skier or a snowboarder, you'll see these temperatures and be happy about it because this is what's going to keep the snow alive for you on the slopes. So we have Vail at 18, Gunnison at 4, Alamosa at 12. And then along I-25, we get up to the 30s in Denver at 31. And then on the eastern side, we stick with these colder temperatures up in the high 20s. So along I-70, we've got Lyman at 25, Burlington at 27. And then we can move on to our tomorrow's highs. So. Like I said, we'll get great temperatures for skiing tomorrow. Vail at 48, Gunnison at 41. We'll continue with those nice blue skies. And then we get up into the 60s on the eastern side. So Denver gets to 60, Pueblo and Sterling both hit 64, and then Lamar gets all the way up to 69. So if I were you, I'd be busting out the tank top and the shorts if you're in Lamar. And if you're in Fort Collins, though, you can expect that we can have tomorrow's conditions with a high of 60 and a low of 29. And like I said, it will be a drier day. We'll have humidity at 36%. And we have 17 days left until spring, if you're counting down the days like I am. And finally, we can check out our five-day forecast. So you see on Wednesday, we have that dry 60. And then the precipitation hits on Thursday with a high of 45 and a low of 30. So not too chilly, nothing like super cold to worry about. But we do have precipitation. And then in the weekend, we just bounce right back up to the 60s again. We've got Saturday at high of 62, a low of 32 with some cloud cover. And Sunday, we have 61. So super nice weekend. Overall, super nice week to start off March. And that is all I have for you for the weather. But please stay tuned for Robbie and Ren and more news after the break.